I love online learning because um, it allows such flexibility and creativity um, to get the students involved um, and have them talk to each other in a different way than they would in a face-to-face -face classroom. Uh, so it allows for that innovation um, and it allows me to reach a very different audience um, because we're part of Open SUNY, um, formerly the SLN. We get students from four-year institutions working alongside our students from the community college and that challenges my students um, to change what they're doing, perform better, put more effort in, and I think that's a good thing. I love uh, both teaching and learning online. Um, it gives you a lot more flexibility of uh, when you attend classes and when you, when you go and do your grading. Um, it, I think it's nice for the students with uh, families, students who have jobs, um, who have to work around that, um, and it cuts out the commute. So I didn't always love online teaching because I didn't understand online learning. So my love came out of actually beginning my PhD work online at Capella University. And I had been asked to teach an online course and didn't really understand what that would entail until I became an online learner myself. And then it just revolutionized my perspective completely. And that's when I began uh, seeing the impact that it would really have on, on the accessibility for that anyone could, could approach learning from any place uh, and, and really making it a memorable experience, something that they would think back on five, ten years from then. Uh, and it, it really does parallel the classroom for me. Little by little I found that the participation on in, uh, in the in-class was a little bit less than what the participation is on the online course, actually. And um, to a point, I feel like if you run a good class on the online, uh, you get a student to learn a lot more than what they actually learn in class. I was a brand new mother when I started teaching online. I had um, a, two -year a three year old and a one year old, and I didn't have any time at home with them. And somebody suggested to me, why don't you teach online a couple days a week? And that will afford you some flexibility. So I started doing that. Um, and the I found out that I loved it. I loved the flexibility of it. I found it was a little bit more time consuming in some ways, but then there were all these added benefits, which were that the uh, I had a lot of students in similar situations. I had a lot of working, uh, working students who were taking my classes part-time. I had uh, a lot of mothers um, who needed to be at home with their kids and couldn't afford daycare, and so they liked the flexibility of it. Um, so that was a bonus. And then I also really like that students who would be shy in a face-to-face -face class felt emboldened to some degree in the online class. Um, and I found that uh, it just, it, I like the challenge of trying to figure out how to do a discussion online for a literature class. And I liked that students that might never talk otherwise really felt comfortable in an online platform. I just got very excited about doing all this new uh, technology that's coming up and there is a lot of technology to learn okay so I'm still thinking a little bit far behind as to what I want the courses to be so uh, uh, I do have a lot of time to actually develop courses and and, and better the course every semester so that, that, that that's one of the things and, and now coming to this conference I, I heard from a lot of other professors that have the same problem that we all have and uh, they, they're really willing to help each other. So that gives you a little more enthusiasm about, uh, about doing this online course. It's a constant challenge. It's constantly changing. It's constantly staying on your toes and on top of things. And it's never dull. And the students are always changing. And I, it's just exciting. It's just exciting.